Hello, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and I could not be more excited to look through this brand new cookbook that just came out in recently in November 2022. It is Comfort, a winter cookbook. It's from Ryland and Peters and Small, one of our favorite cookbook publishers. It's more than 150 warming recipes for the colder months. I had to look at the cover twice because it seemed like autumn colors. It's really orange, and then I realized it's like blood oranges and holly and berries and whatever. It's gorgeous. Love the cover. Let's see what it says on the back. We're going to take a quick preview. I have not cooked or baked anything out of this, so this isn't a review. It's a preview. When it's freezing outside, what we naturally crave is comforting and nourishing food. Yes, this collection of more than 150 delicious recipes will help stave off winter's chill and keep you warm and well-fed the whole season through. From rich casseroles and hearty pies to snow day snacks and hot drinks to enjoy by the fire, every recipe you need is here. Ooh, I'm so beyond excited. Ooh, off to a gorgeous snowy start. Cozy. All right, here is the table of contents. We start off with an introduction, which I'll read just a tiny piece of. Snow day snacks, cold day comforts, fireside feasts, winter salads, indulgent treats, and a cup of cheer. Okay, here's the introduction. We can already tell there's stunning photography. This is a very tiny font. I'm glad I have my reading glasses on. Whew. When the weather turns cold and the days grow short, what could be better than warming up by the fire and enjoying home-cooked food with family and friends? Yes. With flavorsome, comforting dishes for every occasion, this collection of delicious recipes will help stave off winter's chill and keep you warm the whole season through. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They're just talking about what we're going to find in the book. Okay, first chapter, snow day snacks. Do you guys live somewhere that is expected to get snow in winter? I do Seattle gets a little bit. We really want it for a day or two and then we're over it. Like, because we don't have snow plows that plow our streets very often. When the weather turns colder and the days grow short, what could be better than coming home to a warm bowl of comforting food after a long walk through the autumn leaves? Yes. They start off with a creamy pancetta and onion tart. I love tarts. And then a Parmesan custards with anchovy toast. Oh, interesting. Leek and blue cheese quiche with hazelnut pastry and egg rice pockets. So there is not a picture for every recipe. There's a meat pie recipe, cheddar and cider fondue. Ooh, I should make that tonight. Chicken liver parfait with fig relish and toasted brioche. Good luck making kids eat that. I guess you never know. And then a recipe for cheese and basil souffles. And sole goujons. So fish sticks, basically. Fancy. <laughs> Cute kids playing in the snow. Okay, I need to move to the next chapter because I can't show you the whole book. But I want to show you the spice fried chicken and the sticky spare ribs with honey and soy glaze. Salt cod potato and butter bean fritters. That sounds interesting. Popcorn with spiced salt and spicy potatoes. Ooh, yes. Yes, please. Tapenade and Parmesan cheese straws. Cold day comforts. Okay, here we go. Autumn and winter yield such delicious seasonal produce. Make the most of leeks, carrots, pumpkins, and squash. French onion soup. Cauliflower and Stilton soup. Sounds good. Corn and pancetta chowder. Lentil spinach and cumin soup. Vietnamese beef pho. Seafood tom yam. Flavored butters, croutons, telegio, gorgeous photo. Cheesy toasts and a vegetable gratin with fresh herbs and goat cheese. And something called a tartiflette. Ham and blue cheese gratin. Mashed potato pie with bacon, leeks, and cheese. Yum, that's what we're here for. Barley risotto with mushrooms and goat cheese. I appreciate that they have so many vegetarian options. <gasps> Fireside feasts, how good does that look? Home-cooked comforts like casseroles, bakes, pies, roasts, and stews are ideal for winter entertaining. 
Here is extra crispy macaroni and cheese, and there's also a tuna noodle casserole recipe. Sausage, sausage, pasta, and bean stew with greens. Chicken pot pie with tarragon and leeks. My boyfriend would love that. There's also a recipe for steak, leek, and mushroom pie with Guinness. Smoked haddock and potato gratin. Tamale pie. Oh, I haven't made that in so long. I should do that. Spicy pork stew with sweet potatoes and beans. Oh, I love this book. Farmhouse chicken casserole with carrots, leeks, and potato. I need to skip ahead. I can't show you every page, but it's so hard not to. Coconut chicken curry with spiced lentil dal and potatoes. Okay, I'm going to try it and get to another chapter. Seafood and yellow split pea curry. Slow cooked, cooked lamb shanks with lentils. More good stuff that I can't show you. Okay, how about a butternut squash corn and bread bake with cheese and chives? Okay, winter salads. Oh, this is stunning photography. You did such a good job, you guys. There's nothing quite like a plate of nutritious and satisfying food to start. Stay Bosco's Winter Blues, yes. Okay, here's salads. Ooh. Roasted sweet potato and macadamia nut salad. Poached chicken and brown rice salad with ginger and lime. Blue cheese and steak winter salad or hot smoked salmon. I wish I knew which recipe was which because sometimes it's hard to tell and they have three recipes on the same page in one photo, but that's my only complaint about this awesome book. Indulgent treats. Baking is such a satisfying and comforting pastime. Yes. Hazelnut cheesecake bars and cherry marzipan streusel squares. Oh, I wish I was in front of a fireplace right now, don't you? Rhubarb custard and crumble tartlets. Pear mascarpone and orange tarts, but always use the pears. What do the tarts look like? Chocolate and chestnut tart, pear and almond tart. Let's jump ahead. Ooh, pear cobbler and classic apple pie recipe. I'm trying to jump ahead to the drinks, but I want to show you this poached pears. Orange and poppy seed cake, mold wine and cranberry tea bread. <gasps> cranberry, sherry, and vine fruit cake. Christmas bread with orange, fennel, and raisins. And now a cup of cheer. I'll show you, there's a hot toddy, a harvest punch, a black olive martini, ooh, a Bloody Mary with celery salt. Catalan coffee punch, Portuguese mold port, oh yes please, hot buttered rum and mold wine, and a white Christmas. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, I am going to gift this to so many of my friends. Well, not this copy, this one's mine, but I'm going to buy multiple ones for my friends. You can see an affiliate link down below if you want to gift it to your friends this holiday season too. Otherwise, thanks for watching this cookbook look through and preview. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.